Let me do my intro because I'm waiting on bro. Usually I don't do intros for these videos, but we're going to do one since I'm doing nothing else. Anyways, anime interview. I've been doing this. We're on like the eighth episode, I think. So you already know the drill, bro. I say it, every, I say it at the start of every video. You want to be in these, text me on Instagram. That'll be in the description. Or just drop your Discord in the comments and I'll add you. Then we can discuss the time. Boom, boom. Get through it. Now on to the vid. All right. Now one, one thing I got to tell you one disclaimer i'm gonna be hating all right don't take nothing i say to heart or you can i don't really care that much but still i'm gonna probably be hating if you say something that's fine i'll hit back all right cool just making sure we're on the same page all right first question what was your first anime it was either black clover or jojo i forgot which oh so you must be like kind of new to anime then oh i'm not new at all right now but like when i started that those are my first animes because my dad was watching them on toonami and i looked at it and i was like well, that's actually pretty interesting man black clover was not on toonami i don't think there's any more anime tv shows it's like you know the same where samurai jack is the same one where samurai jack is cartoon network uh, yeah that they have some anime on adult swim i guess maybe they have black clover i'm not sure i know they have dragon ball and naruto i don't know about anything else recommend an anime to someone who has never seen an anime before definitely one piece that's my favorite i mean i know it's very generic of an answer but it's still no nah, no nah, that's a valid answer that's my favorite anime well, starting off with one piece is a little crazy but i will say one piece is my favorite because a lot of people won't want to start off with a thousand episode show uh, 1,000 episodes ain't shit, because I've watched 1,900 episodes of One Piece. Not, like, I've rewatched the, every single episode. What's an anime character that you can relate to? I, see, I don't even know if there's a good answer to this for me. I mean, there's, like, none I can particularly relate to, but there's people I try to relate to. Like, Luffy, he is a simple guy. He just wants to eat his food and be on an adventure. That's the type of dude I want to be with, you know? Like, I'm bothered. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I could see that for sure. Do you have any anime hot takes? Hot takes? I definitely have a few. Just let me think of ones that won't get me killed. Nah, say whatever. It's a safe space. Not really, though. I didn't like the way Bleach introduced their antagonists. Sort of like, it feels really out of place. The guy becomes the strongest in the Soul Society, and then you have all these, like, vampires all of a sudden i i i understand that part the the uh dang what was that art called the bounce arc i understand the vampires yeah that part sucks everything else is good though yeah the bounce arc with the vampires i can admit that sucks but you can't say anti like you can't say antagonists in general because aizen is a goat uniclora grim gel uh can you watch but there's a lot of good villains <laughs> Don't come for me, I will kill you! Die, 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 die! This nigga sleeps out. Was that your only hot take? Can we move on to, we'll move back onto that. Yeah, we, we, we can come back to it around the end. What's the anime that you would be in? And let me give you some restrictions. You can't choose an anime where stuff is peaceful. It has to be an anime where you have to fight. What we talking, sort of, like... Like, let's say, if I was in the Dragon Ball Z universe, would there a chance I'd be a Saiyan? Or if I was in the One Piece universe, how would I start off as? Would I be, would I be like, something like Lunarian? Do I have any bonuses? Or are we talking like, generic human? I'll say it depends on the world, but I said you have to be fighting. So I'll say that you'll be part of the main cast. You're not going to be a main character, so you could still die, but you'll be part of the cast of the show. So like side character type stuff? Yeah, you'll be a side character. So I guess if he was put in Dragon Ball, you wouldn't be a Saiyan because they're all dead. But you would probably be something else. Or if you was put in One Piece, you could be a pirate, or you could, or you could be a marine. But you would be there, and you had to fight. The best answer is One Piece here, because people don't die often in One Piece. Different answer would just be Hunter x Hunter, since the side characters are pretty good there. I mean, I'd probably die in Hunter x Hunter, though, so... <laughs> yeah, most people would probably die in Hunter x Hunter, especially if you're joining that uh, Hunter exams. You'd probably get murked off pretty quickly. All I know is I ain't going to no Chimera Island there. Yeah, you probably die before you even get there, bro. What's the best anime of 2024? One I've really been liking recently, though, is the Suicide Squad at Isaki, which was way better than I thought it would be. I haven't seen it, so I can't comment. If you have a list, send me it and I can like I'll just name some popular shows that came out this year, or at least shows I've seen this year that came out. Uh, Hori Mia. Kaiju no A, Tales of Wedding Rings, Go Go Loser Ranger, Konosuba Season 3 came out, 
Demon Slayer, Training Arc came out, uh, Chilling in Another World with Level 2 <laughs> Super Cheap Powers, uh, Mashoko Tensei Season 2 Part 2, uh, Viral Hit, Tsukumichi Season 2, Delicious in Dungeon, uh, Undead Unluck, Nier Automata Season 2, Chain Soldier, Skate Infinity, Buchigiri, Goblin Slayer Season 2, The Witch and the Beast, Free Ren, Martial Magic and Muscle Season 2, Shangri-La Frontier. Shangri-La was actually pretty good, but like, it's like they kind of gave Soulsies, like me, sort of like a protagonist to base upon, but like, at the same time, they did it to an almost ridiculous extent. Nobody first tries a hard boss like that. That's, that's some bullshit, though. There are pros that be doing that, so I wouldn't discredit it. I'm really good at Dark Souls, but, like, nobody first tries a hard boss. It takes you a while, a bit, and then you can be really good at it with patience. You can no-hit them and stuff, but, like, you, you don't do it first try. I don't care who you are. I mean, he didn't... He doesn't really first try that many bosses. He actually dies to the bosses. Final one. I know he had... Well, technically he did have raid information with his friend, but... Like, the very final fight. No, he died a lot during that fight. The whole point of that fight was he kept getting revived by his teammates. He died a lot during that fight. Oh, I forgot, man. Well, it's like... It was still first attempt, though, even though they spammed the shit out of their consumables. I don't know. Maybe I'm just viewing it through a harder lens because i don't know uh move on i uh i got a few more that came out this year the wrong way to use healing magic i think solo leveling came out this year uh classroom way to the elite season three so i'm pretty sure that was the only anime that i can't remember like that was the main anime that came out this year so out of those what was your favorite one definitely the the healer one that was probably my favorite original over kaiju no eight though it's, it was good, but me personally, I wouldn't put it over Kaiju. I wouldn't put it over Go Go Loser Ranger. I wouldn't put it over Viral Hit. I wouldn't put it over Dungeon Meshi. I wouldn't put it over Furin or Undead Unluck. Oh, yeah, you mentioned Furin. Never mind. Furin's definitely top. That might have been 2023, but I know it ended 2024, so it still counts as 2024. Name your top three male characters Luffy. We'll start with that. One that came to my mind predominantly is Guts. Jonathan Joestar, part one protagonist of JoJo. I ain't gonna even lie to you, I've never watched JoJo's. All right, now I'll name your top three female characters. Mikasa, probably, for number one. She sometimes steals the show in Attack on Titan. All right, yeah, she's a ride or die. She deserves that. Forgetting her name, but like the woman curse user in Jujutsu Kaisen. Nobara? Nobara, yeah. Does abridged versions of shows count? I would really love to put an SAO abridged. No, no. Have you ever watched SAO abridged, the abridged version? No, I don't usually watch the abridged videos. Unless you're talking about Giguk, I don't watch abridged shit. No, okay, well, just so I know, it would have been a pretty good answer there because she's an entirely different personality in the abridged, and it's really... She kicks ass, man. I guess for a stand-in... It's probably not a good answer, but Misa from Death Note. That's cool. That's a solid list. You said uh, Mikasa, Misa, and uh, Nobara. That's solid. I could, f I could fuck with that. Now, what was the last anime you've watched? Uh, the Suicide Squad of Saki. That was the last anime I watched most recently. Bro, wait, wait what did you say? The Suicide Squad of Saki. That was the last anime I watched most recently. I don't want to seem like a dickhead when I say this, but it's Isekai. I, I don't know what the fuck Isaki is. I don't want to seem like that dickhead ass nigga, but it's the Isaac guy. <laughs> that shit cracked me up. Uh, is that how it's pronounced? Unfortunately, I will still keep pronouncing it in the way that will piss people off. It's cool. I don't care that much. Anyways, with that question asked, what would you rate that show 1 to 10? Uh, 7. And what would you say is the best part and the worst part of the show? The best part was probably just the finale part because it was really... It was really awesome, but the worst part was right before it because the setup made no sense whatsoever. Uh, the big final boss villain just kind of got shoehorned in for no reason, and just... I had to back up to the previous episodes to know if I missed something. No, no, she just magically appears for no reason. Her name isn't even mentioned once before, it just sort of... Poof, appears and that's it. Like I said earlier, I haven't seen it. 
but it sounds like some bullshit. But it is a t- it is a ten episode anime, so I guess I gotta expect it to be a little rushed. It might have probably originally been twelve episodes, but I don't know. Maybe somehow some director cut it short. Some budget cuts or some. That's what it feels like, man. I mean, it is Warner Bros. And if we're being honest, Warner Bros. hasn't been good in the in a in a decent second. Anyways. What is your top five anime? We'll definitely put One Piece at the top. One Piece, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Hunter x Hunter Jojo. Wait, so Demon Slayer was second over JJK and Hunter x Hunter? Yeah, I mean, I'm mainly ranking it on how, because I'm really trying to get some of my, my parents into anime, and the first two... They loved One Piece. They loved Demon Slayer. They were like, okay of Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, I'm talking about anime that you could just show to anyone and they would immediately pick up on it. Yeah, but that's not your top five. That's just like top five. I'm asking for your top five. Oh, One Piece, Jojo. We'll start with that. Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, MHA. Wait, okay. So let me get the order right. You said One Piece, Jojo's, then Full Metal Alchemist, and then JJK, the My Hero after that yeah i i could fuck with that list i haven't seen jojo so i can't say if it's better or worse than full metal but uh, that's the solid list i can rock with that i remember you said to come back to the hot takes when we was done have you thought of any other ones i thought the attack on titan ending was actually good i feel like most people thought that that's not really a hot take honestly at some point naruto kind of fell off for me no you're 100 percent right 